<laughs> this is the brightest we've ever been. I know, really. Welcome to Monster Men. Do you think there's a squatch? Bobo, get over here, quick! <laughs> uh, this is a Encore Bigfoot episode. And we got so many uh, hits on the Bigfoot episode, and people talking about it. I actually was inspired by that episode to write a book about Bigfoot, which I'm wearing here, my Swamp Monster Massacre. Um, to the to date, that's my most successful book. Like people are buying it like crazy. It's time to get squatching again. Well, I'll tell you, the show Finding Bigfoot is all over the place. <laughs> it shows a lot of fun, man. You know, and it's well, about a year ago we did a Bigfoot episode, and it seems like since that time he's just only gotten bigger. Yeah. Um, Bigfoot is a Bigfoot's a big deal right now. We covered a lot of ground in the first one, so I, I can't wait to hear what else you've come up with. But <laughs> first of all, let's just talk about finding Bigfoot. I mean, yeah. you love that show. You, and I don't expect them ever to find Bigfoot on the show because to me, if they found Bigfoot, it's getting publicized before the show ever comes out, right? So, and that's that's too big to contain. Well, it's the MacGuffin. Uh, of the, uh, you know, if, they, if, you, if you find Bigfoot, you don't have a show anymore. Right. This, it'll be called Found Bigfoot or Hanging with Bigfoot. We found Bigfoot. The season, the series finale. But I just like... Know, Ross and Rachel can't get together till the very last episode exactly. of Friends. Exactly. can't find Bigfoot. But, I mean, what do you think? Are, is it a stretch? You know, you watch these ghost hunting shows and some of them you know are faking things. And, um, you know, the haunted collector happens to always find a haunted... Item and paranormal. He things. just look, he just cases the house and goes. Hmm, I could really use a candelabra. That candelabra is haunted. <laughs> so I'll with, take it with me. With Bigfoot, you know, there are people out there and they're like, I hear a noise. That's got to be a squatch. Like, what, what do you think of that? Is the is there really something to this, or is this a? I gotta say, the show got me to look more into the Bigfoot phenomena or the wild man phenomena. I should say. Um, I mean, this goes back a couple of thousand years across. Almost every continent. So, I don't know. It just seems there's so much. It's such a long history of it that there maybe there's something to it. I'm not so sure. But I used to be completely skeptical and just say there's no chance that there's a, uh, there's a Bigfoot anywhere. But now I believe maybe there is. Well, one thing, like, from the ghost show phenomenon that I feel like with these Finding Bigfoot kind of shows is the amateurs rush to judgment on evidence. And they're like, see that black thing in the picture? That's a squatch. See well, this? And so I like when the scientist is like, wait a minute. Me in a black jacket behind that tree looks exactly like that on film. That, or that's, you know, if I step in mud and I pull it out, the shape of the yeah. footprint. Well, that's why that, that Finding Bigfoot show has sort of a balance. Because you've got... The three guys who will believe anything is a Bigfoot. If they saw, like, my big friend walk in the door, you'd see Bobo on a side thing going, that was definitely a Squatch. But then they got the girl Renee, yeah. who is the complete skeptic, and she'll, see it, she'll believe it when she sees it. So there is some sort of balance. But I do kind of laugh at, because they got to do a show. They've got to do many shows. And so they're looking at people's evidence sometimes that it's just... You can't even see anything slowing it down, and they're just going, yeah, that's probably, you definitely saw a squatch, and everybody that they talked to, he was really believable when I talked to him. And Renee's always like, oh, come on, that could be anybody. Oh, and the Midnight Syndicate just took a tumble. You know what? Imhotep, you're now banned. No tana leaves for you. <laughs> you're going to drown in tana leaf tea. Um, what I did want to talk about this time, did you know? That Sasquatch is not an Indian word for Bigfoot. Shut up. That, it's a made-up word. What? The Indians didn't call him Sasquatch. This is just something that developed. You just shatters. I'm here to break everything. 
Um, but they had a word for him, which was something like the wild man in the hills or something like that. But it's not Sasquatch. Sasquatch has to become like rollerblades. You know, it's just a brand name. Uh, ah. It really doesn't originate with uh, Native American culture. Um, I was looking in my Monster Spotters guidebook. <laughs> So I, I love everything. you, man, because you have a Monster Spiders, Spotter's Guide. This is just the guide to North America alone. So I wanted to go through some of the names of Bigfoot out there. Awesome. That, um, and this is just in North America, and I'll hit some outside of uh, this country. Um, this is one of my favorite, the Abominable Swamp Slob, <laughs> which can be found in swamps of the southeastern United States. Uh, he's omnivorous, and he's typically thought to be aggressive. With omnivorous. He eats everything. Uh -huh. uh, he's a Bigfoot-like creatures, uh, most commonly called, and here's my favorite, skunk ape. Skunk ape. So skunk apes are, uh, can also be called abominable swamp slobs. They're swamp monsters prone to massacres. <laughs> the swamp monsters in my book are skunk apes. That's the whole thing. I want to get to that. Is Instead of writing a book about Bigfoot attacking people. You went into folklore, found this strain, which are called skunk apes because they stink. Stink really bad. And they are horrific creatures. Yes. Um, and so that's what I, I think anybody who is into all this Bigfoot stuff would really enjoy your book. Because you... I you, hope so. You dig deeper and you have a lot of fun with it. Uh, there, There's a guy who to me has kind of cornered the market on Bigfoot, Eric S. Brown. He's a writer and he does these Bigfoot wars. Uh, no, I've heard of the Bigfoot Wars. He also uh, wrote a version of The Legend of Boggy Creek. Um, so I said, you know what? He's got that part. So let me do something different. I said, and it would be cool because right here, when I was looking to write the book and I said I want to do Bigfoot, I pulled up the Everglades Skunk Ape and I'm like, oh, it would be cool to write a book in the Everglades. And it's like the dead of summer where, where the swamp is against you, much less yeah, I mean, skunk yeah. apes. So down in, you know, in Louisiana and in Florida, you've got... The Everglades Skunk Ape, you've got the Abominable Swamp Slob, which is a great one. Now, I mentioned Boggy Creek. Did you know what the Boggy Creek monster really is called? The Falk Monster. Falk. Yes. He is... Uh... Falk you. <laughs> now, this is... if I watched The Legend of Boggy Creek recently. Have you watched this? No, I watched part a little bit of it on YouTube after we did our first episode. It's kind of like a, a a poorly put together nature show from like 1968, with some horrendous voiceovers. But then when the thing is attacking this one cabin, it gets really kind of tense and cool. But there's like bad music. There's a there's songs in it about oh. this kid and rowing his boat. That oh my god. Gently down the stream. If any movie needs a remake with deft hands. In fact, no. The most clumsy We could do a camera. Yeah, we could do this and probably do it better. We could dress him up as a... If you just cut the songs out, you've already made it better. Um, but that was down in Arkansas. We could fit one foot in front of the other from Santa Claus is Coming to Town. One big foot in front, front of, of the other. other. So that's, that was down in Arkansas. This is the Falk Monster, also The uh, Legend of Boggy Creek. This one's a very famous one, which uh, I was just listening. Somebody proved that it was a hoax from the get-go, the Honey Island Swamp Monster, which is a very famous case. Is there a honey badger? <laughs> he don't care. He don't give a ass. Uh, that's over in Honey Island Swamp in Louisiana. Mm. So, And that was also another one that stunk, which my thing, if it's really hot and you're really hairy, you're going to stink. Well, if you go to the zoo, those animals stink. So imagine... Right. Now this one, you'll like this because we watched that documentary about the two guys who are the Bigfoot hunters. Uh, this one is Momo. <laughs> <laughs> this is down in, uh, again, Louisiana, Missouri. Remember how we would call Bigfoot? Momo. Momo. <laughs> Momo. And you have to find the name of that movie and put it down here when you're doing it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I've got Bigfoot it. Bigfoot is Real or something like that. It was a documentary. It was really... It was about the two guys, but that was really cool. Two sad fellows looking for Bigfoot. <laughs> yes. And meaning in life. And here's one. Uh, the Murfreesboro Mud Monster. This is also this is down in that Murfreesboro, sounds like Illinois. A, uh, like mud wrestling guy's name, you know? <laughs> I like this. It's a tall ape-like creature with white hair... Usually covered in mud. 
So how do you know the hair is white if it's covered in mud? I don't know. Give it a bath. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and here's my favorite: bat squatch. Part bat. Dun, 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 Part dun, 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 sasquatch. Bat squatch. <laughs> This is down in uh, Mount St. Helens and Mount Rainier in Washington, and it may pose a threat to livestock, pets, and small children. Because of wings? They have wings. Ooh, it looks like a gargoyle. Yeah, they kind of look like Bigfoot gargoyles. I don't, there's no way you could see this. Bigfoot, big wing. <laughs> and right after that, of course, is Bigfoot. Um, the other names you know is the Yeti, the Orange Pendek. Of course. <laughs> there's so many... I'm going to have to this. freaking type the words Orange, Orange Pendek to put here. Thank you. Destination Truth did an episode on it. Um, if, you guys, if you ever watch the show Ancient Aliens, I was just watching it the other night, and they have an episode dedicated to Bigfoot, because could Bigfoot be an ancient alien? Uh, which goes back to my theory that he's a robotic guardian of aliens, just like he was on this Steve $6 Austin. Dollar man. I watched that last night, and as they were going about the, the Bigfoot theory, him being an ancient alien, I said, when are they going to mention the Anunnaki? And I swear to God, within 30 seconds, they said, Thanks. the Anunnaki. You know, you are a leading authority on Bigfoot. I'm trying to be, You're without ever going to see him. Uh, <laughs> I learned more from 10 minutes of talking to you than I... Hey, Bigfoot's been found everywhere. Now, we live, I live in New York. Not far from New York is Pine Bush. Uh, we mentioned on the Alien episode where that was a... A big hot spot for UFOs. Bigfoot has been spotted there. Let's see either, I think it's Orange County or Ulster County, New York. We were just reading in Litchfield, Connecticut. Yeah. Uh, their pictures, video, and picture of a potential Bigfoot that was found there, um, possibly vomiting at one point. Yeah. <laughs> I found this article. I had to send it to him. Like, yes, Connecticut represents. You know, if a Bigfoot eats something bad, he's going to puke. So. He'd be famous for something besides Lyme disease. <laughs> But I was surprised that Bigfoot has been sighted in every state of the United States, including Hawaii, has a version of the wild man. Wow. Uh, the, the wild man uh, mythos is, is so deep and is, is everywhere in the world. It's just amazing. Does it have anything to do with the wild boys of Duran Duran? <laughs> <laughs> it's with, well, Bigfoot and Wild Boy. Remember yes. them? Wild Boy! So... I mean, I just wanted to share a little bit of the different names that are out there, let you all know that there is Bigfoot everywhere. So no matter where you live, there have been sightings. And I guarantee you that if you look hard enough, you could find a Bigfoot group that likes to go out hunting. That's on my bucket list. I want to go out with an existing Me Bigfoot too. group somewhere and go on a Bigfoot hunt. I will say we got some emails and, and messages from Bigfoot people. Yeah, we did. The last one, and they were very nice. Uh, we had a great feedback from them. So. Hey, we don't mock it. No, you know? I'm genuinely interested. My big thing with Bigfoot is I just, you know, there's never a body being discovered. There's very seldom droppings. There's some things that when you track animals, at the same time, every year they're discovering new species of fish or of, of animals mm -hmm. um, in places. So who am I to say, no, that's not going to exist. But you know, it's more fun to think it could exist. Yes, definitely. You know what? It's boring to think that this is as good as it gets. And my dream, if, you know, besides I want to go on a Bigfoot hunt, mm -hmm. is also, like I said last time, is I want some Bigfoot swag <laughs> from these places where people go. I want, a, I want a footprint in plaster. I want a shirt. <laughs> oh, yeah, I would like any of that stuff. Off of Brian Moreland with uh, my publisher, he's gone on a Bigfoot hunt. Oh, nice. Yeah, one day we got to talk to him about that. So if anybody's out there wants to uh, take us on a Bigfoot hunt, I'll even come travel to you. If it's not too far, I'll come out there. Tell us your favorite Bigfoot shows. If you got a picture or a footprint, send it to us. Tell us what we missed. Tell us what you think of Bigfoot. Let's hear from you. And want to do a quick comic update? Quick one. Ba -bing. Uh, this one is Ghost. Keeping in the horror theme, it's from Dark Horse Comics. Patrick Swayze? No, very far from Patrick Swayze. It's about a, a woman who comes back as a ghost from this device these guys use. Oh. She doesn't know who she is or what she's there for, but she has a penchant for murdering people. Because she's not just a diaphanous ghost, she also is solid. So she's got this killer instinct and we don't know why she's back and who she is. It's sort of a sexy little cover, too. Yes, there was like four variants of the cover. So Dark Horse Comics, it just started a couple of months ago, um, so you can easily get caught up. Ghost. Nice. Comic book update. 
All right. Well, don't forget to pick up Swamp Monster Massacre. It's a yes. novella. It's available at Samhain Horror, Amazon.com. It's He's in it. cheap. Yeah. And it makes a perfect gift for that Bigfoot <laughs> fan on your list. <laughs> and we'll see you next time on Monster Men. Arg.